This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Home Improvement How To's. Today we're out painting a house here and we're testing out another product, another product review, and this is Benjamin Moore, Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec Exterior Paint. All right, John. So you've been spraying with this um, Ultra Spec from Benjamin Moore. Almost got this house completed. So far, what do you think of it? Um, I think it's, um, it feels, uh, thinner, I guess thinner than the stuff we typically use. Um, maybe more liquids, less solids. It feels like it clouds up a little bit more when I'm spraying it. Um, so you mean it's got more overspray or what? Yeah, it, it yeah, it just seems like there's more overspray in the air and that could be if there's, if there's more liquid and less solid, it's more likely to kind of just float around in the air while you're spraying and less likely just to sink down. Um, it's not bad, it's easy to spray, it hangs really well, um, but it just feels, that's my initial take while I'm spraying it is that it feels a little thin. Cool. So we've been testing out this spray and we got several of us testing out spraying the Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec. I've been testing it, John's been testing it, I think Gabriel's tested it too, spraying some uh, some downspouts and we sprayed a door with it. Spraying the body, just to give you an idea, we're spraying it with a 30 inch extension, using a, um, a contractor two gun, two finger gun, got an airplane flying over a head that's wrecking my sound, but uh, um, we're using a 515 tip, uh, Graco Rack X 515 tip with the Rack X guard, uh, running it at about 2000 PSI, spraying it. So. Right now, we're just working along the side, got most of the house done, and we'll be giving you uh, what we think about it here pretty soon. So let me ask you something, Gabriel. You haven't been painting very long. I think you've been spraying just a few things now, right? Mm -hmm. A few items. What do you think of um, the Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec? Um, From a new guy perspective, working here a couple months. Probably the only difference spraying this stuff is you can definitely tell there's like a lot more dust. That's about the only thing I can really tell. Yeah, would you put it on your house? Um, looks good, so yeah. But I'd have to do my research and figure out what actually paint would last the longest. Is there anything you don't like about it? Uh, other than the dust and overspray and stuff, no? Anything you like about it? Uh, looks good, but I heard it's pretty expensive. <laughs> Matt, tell us what you think about Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec. What do you like about it? Uh, I don't find it to be quite as runny. As the uh, other paints like, you've used? Yeah. So tell me something that you um, don't like about it. It's really thin. Like, cool. So it's really thin, but it's I not have, very runny. To, well, yeah, I have to get a lot more on my brush to cover more area. So we've got Zach up here on the roof. Um, Zach, I think you've been using the Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec about half a day. I think you've sprayed a door and now you're doing some fascia with it, brushing and rolling. What do you think of it? Uh, I actually like it quite a bit. I think it covers extremely well. It's covering over this red and it still takes two coats, but it's covering it really well. Um, it sprayed just fine. I like the look of the product after it's sprayed. So you're using, I think, just pure white? Um, I think it has a little bit of tint in it, but it's it's basically just pure white. It's and it's going over bit. kind of a bright red, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anything you don't like about it? Um, you know, not yet. Uh, I'll definitely have to get back to you on that one. I haven't... So would you put it on your own house? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, what do you think of it, Ryan? Uh, it's slightly thinner. doesn't run much, but it lays on smooth. I like it compared to most... Uh, Compared to other paints we've been using, um, I prefer it a little bit, maybe even more than other paints just because it lays so smooth and it doesn't really run. And I have that problem because sometimes I put a little too much paint on my brush. So, so anything you don't like about it? Um, I don't like that it's too thin. Just because sometimes too thin, I have to lay more, I have to get more paint on my brush, and then, or I have to go back and hit things more a second time or a third time just because I just go too quick. So. And then one thing you really do like about it? It lays on pretty smooth and I can put it on my nap pretty thick and it doesn't really run. Cool. And um, you haven't sprayed any of it, have you? No. So would you put it on your own house? Yeah. You would? Okay. 
Cool. Thanks, Ryan. So, John, I know you haven't brushed and rolled the uh, Ultra Spec today, but you've been watching the guys and observing them and checking it out. What do you think um, are some of the differences, are some good qualities and maybe some bad qualities about the Ultra Spec? If there's any bad qualities. Um, you know, I think it's, um, obviously it's probably a contractor grade paint. So you probably won't get the life out of it that you will um, with paint. You know, the, the more money you spend typically, the better the paint's gonna be, the, the longer it's gonna last. Um, but I think this is a, a pretty decent quality paint. I would assume you'd probably get at least eight years out of this paint and, and these colors. Seems like it's brushing and rolling on pretty well. Um, it seems thin to me even on a brush, um, but it's covering well. So, um, you know, my impressions of it are, are pretty good. I'd probably be more comfortable using a, a higher quality paint with a lifetime warranty um, for whatever that means, but just a little bit higher of a solid content would be probably a little more ideal, but for the cost, it's a great paint. So you think the, the cost for what you get, you think it's a good value? I think it's a great value, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think it's, it's really good. All right, off to the next person. So Gabriel, you've been brushing and rolling with the Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec today. And I know you've done a little bit of brushing and rolling with some other paints. Mm -hmm. What do you think the difference is? Or is there any difference with the other paints? What do you think? Um, the difference that I've kind of noticed is that it's, it actually kind of feels a little bit thinner. And so, I don't know, it just comes off the brush easier. So you think the thinner has um, a benefit, positive then? A little bit, yeah. All right. Well, so would you paint your own front door with it? I would, yes. All right, cool. Um, I am less impressed than I was at the, the start. Um, I don't feel like there's enough there isn't a lot of body in the paint. Um, I feel like <clears throat> I'm finding some touch-ups that I wouldn't normally have from where I've sprayed. Um, and a lot of it I think has to do with just the paint's ability to build on itself. Um, it's just not, um, I don't think there's enough body in it. So it's not to say it's not an adequate coating, but um, I think we can do better. All right. So there you have it, a review of Ultra Spec on the job site for my paint crew. You got people out there on the paint crew that have been working for two weeks, young painters to apprentice painters have been working for a couple years to 15-year uh, journeyman painters, all giving you their opinion of Ultra Spec from Benjamin Moore. So what do I think of Ultra Spec from Benjamin Moore? Now, it's a contractor grade paint, and I do have to say, I really do like the full line of Benjamin Moore products. I think they make really, really good products, and if I was a professional painter and had access to them here where I live in Boise, Idaho, there's a possibility I'd be using Benjamin Moore's, Benjamin Moore's products, but up here where I live, I don't have easy access to them. There is a privately owned store that is a reseller of Benjamin Moore products and I've met with the rep there before and uh, after talking to the rep, I got this feeling that he didn't care about my business, nor did he even want my business. So it was unfortunate. And then I was talking to him and it didn't seem like they could even provide the product that I needed in the volume that I needed. And Ultra Spec was the product that I would actually be painting with at that point in time. But uh, Benjamin Moore doesn't have a commercial store. It's unfortunate here because I didn't feel like uh, they needed my business or wanted my business, the private stores. So I continue purchasing paint from the uh, a large paint company that is you know easily accessible here where I'm at. But you know what is my opinion of Ultra Spec? I had the opportunity to be able to spray it. I had the opportunity to be able to brush and roll it that day out there with my crew. And when it comes to spraying it, it, it had about an average amount of overspray, probably average to what I would expect from a 25-year warranty contractor grade 
paint. Um, one thing I did like about it is it hung very well. So I sprayed it on extremely thick on the, the siding and it hung very well, which means it would not run really easy. And then another thing I really like is it was extremely hot outside that day and it didn't dry too fast. So those are two really good qualities to it. One of the qualities I didn't like when I was brushing it and rolling it, it didn't cover very well. It did when it when I was dipping my brush. One thing I really don't like is paint. So I dip my brush and I move my brush to the location where I'm gonna brush or roll or when I'm loading up my nap and I carry it to where I'm going cheaper paints will drip and not hang well on your nap or roller. And the, the, the product, the Ultraspec, had a tendency to hang really well out of there, but it didn't cover very well. It seemed to not have just uh, very much body to it and it didn't cover. So overall, you know, it's a, a really good product, I feel, for a 25 year warranty paint for a contractor quality paint. Benjamin Moore Ultraspec, would I put it on my house? Well, I'm a professional painter, so I have access to a lot of paints. It's not a paint that if I was given it for free, I probably would put it on my house, but I'm gonna choose a higher quality paint and a paint that I think is gonna you know, hold its color and last a lot longer. So I probably wouldn't put it on my house. What do I rate it out of 10? I'd probably give it a seven out of a 10. I think it's a very good value. And if um, you're looking at for a good paint for a good value, it's something to consider putting on your house. I do, ben I do know Benjamin Moore makes some really high-end paints that are just awesome. But the pricing, when I go down to this retail store, they always just suck me up on the pricing. And even when I'm in my own painting clothes and I'm a painter, a professional painter, I'm always, they're always trying to charge me a retail price until I try to remind them that I'm a professional painter, then they'll knock the price down you know, significantly. But it's kind of, the, the customer service at that store is kind of irritating. So I just kind of stay away from it and, and, and I'm not using their products. Here and there, I'll have a customer just request that I use Benjamin Moore products and, um, and on the job site. And because they do make good products, I will use it if the customer requests it, but then I charge for it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review on Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec. If you have, please consider giving me a thumbs up and a like. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I do have a live show every Monday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time on YouTube and on my website, theidahopainter.com. We're always giving away some pretty cool tools and accessories. I'm always giving away on my live show tools and accessories, shirts and hats and stuff like that. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm always posting on Facebook and Instagram little 30 second and one minute clip videos, how to do stuff and some pretty cool pictures and stuff like that. I also do live shows randomly throughout the week on Instagram and Facebook also. Instagram is Idaho Painters, Facebook is The Idaho Painter. And once again, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on my next video. Out.